here we go part two equipment tour and this is just going to be implements the main implements that we use on the farm thank you all for supporting the first equipment tour you guys are killing it so let's not waste any time let's get right into it This here is a 10 foot John Deere Van, Dr Van Brunt drill. We got this from my landlord when he retired. It's old, but this thing works phenomenal. Love it. This has made some of the most beautiful waterways on our farms. Yep, waterways awesome. and hay fields and all the good stuff. This here is our 1985 maybe? Don't even know in the year, doesn't matter. 900 cycle of air. We work Six row. Do this for seed corn, end rows, bull rows as we call them. Uh, plant sweet corn with it. Use a 1206 on it, but it's going to graduate to a 4020 next year. So this is not going to look as cool, but sometimes <laughs> cool is overrated. We got it from a implement dealer out in Illinois. I think we gave 3500 bucks for it. We really haven't done that much to it. It works great. There's the seed tender that we just got last summer. You saw that in a video a while back. This is our Vermeer 7040 disc mower. Got this last late spring. Early, early spring, was it in the winter time? Anyway, it's a nine foot disc mower. So we mow all our hay with. Does an excellent job. A little side note here. That wagon was purchased on the day of my dad's funeral. I had a guy buy it for me at a farm sale. So that wagon just kind of gives me a reminder of that. It's a nice wagon. don't do wagon. anything special with it, but it's, it's a just, garden wagon. Just a garden wagon and yep. purchased on the day of my dad's funeral. There was just a few items that we weren't able to get recorded. They were in a building at a landlord's that was down the road a few miles and covered with snow. We weren't able to get in there. So starting off with the grain carts, we've got two Kinsey 1050 grain carts on tracks. We bought one of them new in 2011 from some place out in Nebraska. And then we bought the other one in, I think, 2015. It's a 2012. And we got that in Buffalo Center, Iowa. The 840 Kinsey grain cart is what you see in the middle in the back. My dad bought that brand new in 2000 from Central Iowa Farm Store in Marshalltown. And we pulled that with the 4840 and then the 4960. And then we pulled it with the 8420 for a while. Moving on to the two seed tenders you see. The one in the front is an Asland four box tender. We bought that new in 2013. We used to have a two box carrier traded that two box on the Aslan four box and also the seed company that we buy seed from was also doing a promotion deal with pro boxes so they kind of helped pay for that in some kind of way the one in the back is what we call the funky filler it was made by a guy named randy funky back in 2003 it was a j key trailer flatbed that converted to a seed tender and that's We've been running that for years. So there's just a few items that I wasn't able to get in the video. So there you go. Right here we've got a 15 foot John Deere cold mulcher. I don't really know much about it, where it came from, but we've had it for a long time. We use this to uh, shape up waterways, get them ready for seeding. And right over here, we've got the Raptilator that we just built this last summer. It's composed of a John Deere tandem disc, a Glencoe three-point mounted field cultivator, and a Summers drag that came off of a big implement tool, kind of, kind of tillage tool. This is a sweet little soil finisher that we made and we use it to rip new ground for seeding and stuff like that. This is a 1992. We went out 7,200, 24 to Assumption, Illinois. Looked at this, my wife and I, in 1995 in January. 
we actually found out that my wife was pregnant. Bucky. Bucky! On that trip. Oh my gosh. We actually went to a Walmart and my wife bought a pregnancy test. And so this planner and Derek are like, they just go together. We love each other. Yeah, they do. This thing is what we call the dinosaur. Cause it's so old that when you started planning with it, you could still see dinosaurs walking around in the field. <laughs> <laughs> it's been retroed. This, this planner has stuff on it. I don't, I, I'm being honest with you. I can't even run this planner. I don't know how anything works on it. I just get in my planner and go, this is my brother's planner. This is his baby. It's set up for seed yep. corn, 26 rows. Yep. It is a machine. This is a 26th row. It's added on to the frame, both sides over there. Got uh, precision meters. Yep. Precision meters, electric drive. It's got hydraulic downforce. It's it's almost fully loaded. It's it's really solid. All right, we call this the little baby 12 row. So yeah. John it's... Deere, 1760. No idea what year it is, whatever that vintage was. 12 row planner. What we guys got it. It's actually our cousin's planner. I think it's like a 16 model. Uh, bought it from a farmer uh, just south of town. It's a really good planner. It's just, it's set up with precision. You can plant like... 10 mile an hour. It's got the high speed speed tubes in it. Yeah, you can plant 10 mile an hour. And it's just a little beast and little air and, and this are just get along great. So this is a John Deere 7300. They call it a spike bar. This used to be a 12 row three point planter back in the day. And then it's got converted to a spike bar for male seed corn. It plants four rows. Works great. I don't know. I when remember you... when we got this. And my brother hauled it home and we looked in the seed boxes and it had E-set meters in it. And I don't think the people knew what they had that sold it. And it, we used it for several years with just three rows on it. Took all nine rows off. And then we ended up, we took it to a guy and he added these wings to it so we could plant four rows with it. It really works really slick. Yep. You can sock in about 200 acres a day with it. And, uh, get along really good planting for male rows for seed corn works great it's also set up for four two it's got two yeah it does yeah you see back there two rows if you know seed corn you give it a four one or four two so it is set up for four two we haven't planted four two in like ever yeah but we're set up 24 row central fill 1770 it's very basic still got pro shaft drive so it's ground driven air downforce precision e-set meters Really basic planner, but what do you like to call it? The YC. This, She's the yield champ. Yield champ. This planner seems like year in and year out always plants the best corn. Anyway, <laughs> it's a 2009. We got it in 13. Love this planner. Great planner. This Great is a, planner. this is probably the best planner deers ever made. Obviously, well, they still make them. Yeah. It's the same. Except yeah, you, you it's can pull them. You can pull them 10 mile an hour now. Yeah. VRD. Get whatever you want on. Up next, we got the baby anhydrous bar, DMI 4250, 15 knife. Bought this in 1992. It came in pieces. We put it together. This has been a really good, solid piece of equipment. I don't think we've welded anything on this bar. We have replaced that rock shaft back there before. That did break on us. Um, but this thing is just been solid. Pull it with the 8400. It's all at once. This is the main anhydrous bar. It's actually FS's bar. We use it. They rent it out to us, basically. We do custom work for them. It's an AT6020 Blue Jet, 24 knife. Pull this with the 9420T. Up here we got a, I think it's a 2020. It's pretty much, it's one year old. It's a 2730 John Deere Ripper, 11 shank. They're on 24 inch spacing. Pull this with the 9620RX. And all in our, our rolling hills, it's all she wants. Rolling hills, heavy soil, Eight it's all she hour. wants. Perfect. Yep, she handles it just perfect. This ripper does an awesome job compared to what we used to have. We used to have K730Cs. They were great chisels, by the way. If you, wanted, if, awesome. you, if you wanted dirt black, they were good at making dirt black, but they were not very good at making it level. It was like a... It's just... 
so this thing 20 years old this thing turns it black and it levels it so we this thing is really nice jumping right over here we've got a 2230 floating hitch 60 foot 6 inch John Deere field cultivator this thing is massive and the 9620RX handles this no problem we got this the same year as this 2730 we had a bunch of old equipment that we traded up for these two pieces probably gonna go down in the 20 year club we're gonna keep these for a long time it's a lot of iron in there to wear out nice field cultivators are built heavy deer does a good job moving on we have a Oh, we've had this for three years now, haven't we? I think this is going on year four. So we've had this for quite a while. It's a 8,500, 40, 40-foot 40 Kuhn Krauss accelerator. It's their VT tool, vertical tillage. We use this in the fall on corn stalks. Use it in the spring as seed bed prep. We absolutely love this machine. It is like great for everything it does. It's like a hot knife through butter. It's like. It's like a box blade that's used in the winter and the summer. It it's is. Used in it's the fall and it spring. is. <laughs> it's <laughs> multi uses. In fact, if we could plow snow with this, like we'd use plow. it to plow snow. It's like a chisel plow and a field cultivator all in one. It it's soil not, finisher, not really, but not but, quite. But it's yeah, cool. these things are now, great. I will say this this machine right here, when we used to run it behind our old chisel plows, it was okay, but it wasn't. You didn't feel good planting corn in that seed bed, beans, it was okay. But this behind the John Deere chisel plow, planting corn on corn, oh my gosh, these, I mean, they're like soulmates. They yeah. work great together. It's like the jack of all trades. It is. Master of none. Also yeah, with this, we work in our cover crop. Well, we have the co-op broadcast the seed and we work it in and it's a beautiful stand. It looks really nice and also works up the ground a little bit. If you're in the transition, you think you want to be a no-till guy, this is a tool to get. We're kind of, we're very diverse when it comes to that. We do all we kinds do of things. All. Conventional, no-till, cover crop. We do everything on different soils. It all depends. This is a great tool. Just, I these are awesome. One thing to add. If you have rocks, keep this out of the field. It does not like uh, rocks. Disclaimer, it doesn't like boulders. Doesn't yeah, like boulders. things don't like boulders. Little rocks, they're fine. Like softball size, it's okay, but if they're size of a basketball, fold it up and go down the road to another field without rocks. You'll be oh. much happier. <laughs> usually you see oh, the rock. Got, got you got see it. a rock that big yeah. usually, but yeah, whatever. Okay, here we got a John Deere. 608c non-chopping corn head we just got this this year for the 9870 and it was worked yeah, great we we probably should have got a stock master but this one was at a farm sale we we're kind of in a pinch so yeah we didn't want to wait around it was it's in excellent condition i mean it's probably the best used 608 corn head that i've seen that i've seen in the last year so yeah, it's just tucked away in here. This, this is our Macdon 2019 FD 140 Draper Bean Cutting Machine. They do a nice job. Yeah. So yeah, it's 40 foot. We just got it. We got it in 2019, and uh, we love it. It's been great. If you think about getting Draper, I steer you towards Macdon. They they do a nice job. They're really simple. It's, uh... it's like a 19, isn't it? We got a 19. Had for three years. 19, 20, 21. So 2019, 712 FC folding corn head. It's a 12 row folding corn head. We got the stock stompers on it. We traded a regular rigid frame 612C on it and an eight row, or other eight row. That's a, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a another, whole, that's a whole other story. 712 FC. And dad, what do we say about the folding corn head? Ready? F -f 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 folding corn head. I would, without we, a doubt. Why did we start that? Undoubtedly say, this is one of the best investments, best oh. things oh. ever bought on the farm. I mean, the 4020s are great, the 4450s, the the planters are great, but there's something about in the fall when it's nine o'clock at night. It's Saturday, 
you want to get home and watch college football or get a steak dinner or something and you got to put the corn head on the trailer and you pull on the trailer onto the road or something because you you're not doing it in the field or whatever and the crown of the road is wrong and you can't get the corn head on there and you spend 45 minutes getting it on the trailer that's when we started going fo 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 folding corn head this thing's awesome absolutely love it this is a great grand finale this will be probably the last piece of equipment we show on the tour drum roll please aka baby gronk Fifteen custom built 1253 corn head in a barn in a lean to with one light bulb. Not a corn head. I excuse me, did I say corn head? You said corn head. That's because people look at it, they think <laughs> it's a corn head. So here it is, guys. God, the, it's it, a row crop bean head. This is the infamous row crop bean heads that we run. Uh, 1253. Built by Bish and Company out in Giltner, Nebraska. Yep, we've been running these for decades. 1981. And uh, that's 41 years. That's insane. Not so, this particular head, but no. row crop heads in general. Uh, you do not see farmers use these anymore, but us. <laughs> well, I take that back. A few of our we neighbors. Do, we do have two neighbors. Neighbors use but them. But they are transitioning to drapers, I have noticed. Yep. So are we, so, you know, these heads are, they're great when they work, they, I mean, I don't know, they just, they just cut beans. That's There's, right. This possibly might be the last year it cut beans. Yep. Look at it. it I, I feel like we're in the back cave right now. Look at this We building. are in a lean-to of a barn. It is like zero degrees out right now. There's snow that got blown in here. And we had one light bulb in here. That's amazing. Vintage right here. 12 rows, 53 was the model, and an A. I don't ever really know what the 53 means. I have heard it stands for all crop, because you could cut sunflower, milo, and soybeans. That's what I've heard. That's new one to me. So, if you go back, I might include a video link of how this head works. I think it would only be fitting to end the video on the 1253 light. That is going to conclude the main equipment tour videos, tractors, implements, farm use. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put out an additional equipment tour video that will spotlight semis, pickups, other random small items and stuff like that. I think that'll be pretty interesting, especially the trucking side and might kind of explain some of the trucking side and how that works. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go check out the Soybean Association article. There's a link on my community tab. Go check that out, give it a read. It's kind of interesting. Couldn't do any of this without you. We'll see you in the funnies.